It was uh, took some some years actually. I was uh, uh, because I always felt and thought, and uh, and I still do actually that uh, to uh, that to becoming a conductor is. Uh, it's, uh, one thing is it's very difficult uh, to find the path it's to get the right education. It's very high competition to, in all the conducting classes. Uh, and even though you make it into a class, it's even harder to get out when you're finished with the class. So I always felt it's too competitive. It's, uh, it's a very un insecure way of living. Uh, so, um, so I kind of uh, kept it, uh, suppressed it for a few years and wanted to, to, uh, to do other, totally other things. I was starting to study uh, mathematics and physics and even, and, and, had, and kept music as a hobby. But it only took one year of this before I <laughs> went, realized I had to work with, uh, with uh, what I loved most and, and went back to music. And since then I was quite determined that I, I wanted to focus 100% um, on, on, on conducting. It's, um, and it's funny when I read, uh, read um, uh, interviews made uh, with myself when I was a very young student from in the beginning of my studies and after a few years, it's, uh, uh, I, I, I felt a little bit, uh, almost get a little bit embarrassed about how um, uh, determined I was and that how sure I was I would make it. Like, oh yeah, if I, or to say, put it this way, I say very clearly that if I will not be able to work with all these kind of great orchestras, then I will just stop and do something else. Uh, it's on, it's, uh, uh, if I can't make it to, to really, really good orchestras, then and it's very funny to, to see this attitude, uh, because now after doing this for so many years, I see and understand much more how hard this job is. But uh, being in the 20s, you, you have a lot of energy and, uh, and, and, and power and, uh, and ambitions that, that you don't yet see all the difficulties uh, and challenges on the way. So it's, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, funny to see in perspective. But uh, of course, so I, I am doing what I wanted to do, so I should not complain, but uh, the job is not getting easier. It's hard work to, 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 to work, uh, to do this job every, every week you go. I I think it's uh, um, a really young conductor. It's not if you have, are really gifted and have a little luck of having the support of old conductors. It's not so difficult. There are lots of examples of uh, of, um, of, um, of of really young conductors, really inexperienced but really gifted, who are who are thrown into the market and and are even doing really excellent things with excellent orchestras. So I think the. Um, you, you, you can see a little bit that, uh, like, like I think it was Gardner who said this in an interview on this video, The Art of Conducting. He said that you are a little bit lost like a conductor between the end of the 20s and beginning, beginning of the 60s. Because when you get really old, you have a lot of experience. People, you just stand on the podium and you have a lot of respect because you have been conducting for maybe 40 years and you have done the pieces 20 times when you come to an orchestra. And before that, you have this uh, uh, curiosity, this vital energy, uh, naive approach to music, which can also be really uh, uh, attractive for some orchestras that these bright new little stars are coming out. So, so on this road from being this young, naive conductors who, with a lot of talent, uh, when you start growing in, and getting more knowledge and repertoire and experience, then you go into this long transit, uh, transit period before you get a real old conduct. So I think the beginning and the end of the career is the, the easiest. The, the journey uh, uh, in between it is maybe harder, I think. So you are in this transition? I'm in this transition period in a way, yeah. Even though I, I was not... Uh, uh, thrown out in the market very uh, very early. I was even more than I think I was 32, three years um, when I had my international breakthrough. So I, I, I never experienced this, and I think I'm for me personally that's good that I wouldn't be. People are different, and uh, and um, it wouldn't have been so good for me to to be thrown into this in the 20s. I think I would have done um, many mistakes and, uh, and not so it's, it's not for everybody to, to be on exposed for this uh, at a too early stage so I'm actually happy 
uh, that I came out on the major stages a little few years later than what is normal today. And, um, and I, this journey transition period, which I am in now, I think it's, uh, it's also very enjoyable. That's where you, you, learn, you learn your things uh, all the way. And, uh, and, um, and eventually we will get out of this tunnel, old and with a gray hair and lot of experience. <laughs>